This video is brought to you by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. So about after seven years, it's time for an upgrade. I've had this thing since uh, I believe 2014. It's an 05 model. It's been great to me. I've done a lot of work to it. I've replaced the motor, the transmission, uh, pretty much everything under the hood to be honest with you. All the front end suspension, lift kit, tires, new bed cap, I mean you name it. I've pretty much done it except the body itself of the truck. That's probably the only thing that's original. But that being said, it's long overdue for an upgrade. So I'd like to introduce you guys to the new work truck. So here it is guys, the 2019 GMC Sierra 2500 HD. It's got the Duramax engine with the Allison transmission. This thing is a beast and I am super happy with it. Uh, I've had the white truck for about seven years now. That's been a fantastic truck, but going to this Duramax, man, it's a whole game changer. So I am super pumped about setting this truck up for service and installs and family life. So let's go and check it out. All right, so even though this is a crew cab, four door truck, I don't wanna have anything inside the cab, no tools, anything like that, because I wanna be able to carry the family whenever I need to and not have to worry about removing a bunch of tools. And plus, it just keeps the inside of the cab nice and clean. So that means everything needs to go in the bed of the truck. Now, I've got a couple ideas on how I'd like to get this set up. Now, the first component that I'm thinking about is called a decked system. Now, it's basically, uh, it's made out of really hard plastic, but it goes about halfway up uh, on the bed the, over the entire bed itself. And then it has two main drawers that slide out and you have organization inside that. So it's waterproof, weatherproof. Um, and then once you close the tailgate and you hit that lock button on the truck, uh, the tailgate can't open. So therefore they can't get into those bins to get into your, any of your tools or whatever you have stored in those bins. So to me, I think I'm gonna go that route just because it's very versatile um, and I, I've already looked at them that as far as the depth and the length. So how much space I have, I think that I can put all of my tools and parts in there and uh, I'll be good to go. So you know, I, I keep things pretty simple when it comes to tools and parts anyway. I don't load down the truck with a bunch of stuff. I usually just go get whatever I need whenever I need it kind of thing. So and it's worked out pretty well for me. So. Starting off with the, with the deck system, I think that's gonna work out pretty well. And then on top of that deck system, it's very robust. So you can put stuff that's heavy on top of it, like an air handler, uh, coil, compressor, condenser, whatever the case is. As long as you've got the height, um, as far as that goes, then you know that's no problem there. 
And then secondly, I'm thinking about putting on a bed cap, just kind of like I did on the white truck, but not the same style. I don't want to go with that utility looking um, metal uh, topper. I want to go with one that's probably fiberglass, painted to match on the truck. It's got sliding windows on the side so I can reach in and grab if anything if I want to from the sides. Um, and then it's got some, uh, I think some tracking on the top so that way I can put some crossbars, put a ladder up there, uh, kayak, whatever the, whatever the case is. Um, so again, I wanna keep this truck very versatile because it is my only, it's gonna be my only truck. I'm selling the white truck. So it needs to be, uh, you know, set up for, for family life. I like to do camping, uh, you know, taking the family on trips, things like that. And then also for, you know, service installs or whatever, whatever it takes to do with the HVAC side of the, of the company. So I'm pretty excited about this. I really enjoy organizing, right? And thinking about things on how I'd like to have them set up, what works, what doesn't work. So this is pretty exciting to me. I'm having a lot of fun researching and figuring out what I would like to do for this truck. So if you guys have any options for me, any suggestions, please leave it in a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. But that's gonna complete this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, see you guys later. So I've had this truck just for a few months now and I took my son out to Land Between the Lakes out in Kentucky. Did some little bit of off-road trailing and some camping. Now, I researched where the trails were gonna be not so bad, right? I didn't wanna scratch up the truck or mess it up. Um, so I didn't want to hit any trails that were too intense. So I did my research and I found out which ones were good and that's the ones I went down. But as I was going down them and uh, trying to find a good camp spot, I went down uh, a certain uh, path or a certain trail that looked you know, to be nice, wide and open. But as I got about halfway down, uh, you could tell that no one's been driving down that tra uh, path for a while. So all the trees were kind of leaning over and um, there was really no turning around. I mean, I, I thought it was just a little bit and I'd get through it to be fine, but that was, uh, that was a mistake. I ended up getting pinstriping all the way down the truck, just light scratches. And with this black paint, it pretty much shows everything. So that was a bummer. I ended up having a, a detail guy come out and I spent 350 bucks on a full exterior detail where they buffed it and waxed it. And I would say they got 90 to 95% of those scratches out. If I didn't tell you about it, you probably wouldn't even notice it if you're sitting here looking at the truck. So luckily it turned out pretty good, but I learned a huge valuable lesson. Stick to the main roads if you're gonna be in something nice like this. Um, you know, this is not a trail rig or anything by any means, but I did wanna get out and do some camping and check out that land. So um, just kinda learned the hard way, I guess. But it's not gonna stop me from going back. Thank you.